Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. I'm in a continuous search to find more car shampoos that will do for me or us here at the shop what CarPro Reset does. Uh, CarPro Reset, if you've been following the channel for any period of time, you'll know that that is the shampoo we reach for on a daily basis here to both clean protected and unprotected cars. pH neutral, it has that perfect balance of being able to clean protected and unprotected cars, yet not be overbearing and break down protection you already have existing on your car, whether it be a coating, a wax, or a sealant. No frills, so there's really no unnecessary dyes or scents in a car shampoo. They really mean nothing. Those are just um, some ploys to, to get your attention, to, to make their shampoos stand apart from others. So they're really not needed, and I don't like car shampoos that, that have them. So I came across a shampoo today that is actually even a little bit cheaper than Car Pro Reset. You get a little bit more, uh, 32 ounces, and this is the Jess Car Auto Wash. This is next up for me to review and showcase for you guys. Let's get right into the video. This is about as dirty as the C7 is ever going to get. After about a 100-mile trip, there are some bug splatter in the front and the mirrors and the A-pillars, as you would expect. Also, dust around the wheels, wheel wells, down around the side skirts, and around the back of the car as well. So it's in dire need of a wash, and we're going to use the Jess Car Auto Wash Foaming Shampoo to get that done. This car, well protected, but also using the shampoo here at the shop for cars coming in in preparation of getting protection. It's effective in either case, protected or unprotected vehicles. The Just Car Auto Wash Foaming Shampoo is 32 ounces for just $13.99. It is a pH neutral shampoo that can be used in your foam cannon or in your bucket for a contact wash. And that's where the cleaning will start today. We're going to put two ounces in a foam cannon canister, three quarters of the way up with warm water. And we're going to load up this car with some nice thick shaving cream suds. We'll let it dwell for as long as we can. Let it lift, encapsulate, break down that grit so we can rinse it free before we get to the contact wash. Very important part of the wash process. As you can see here, the foam is more than enough, even with this inexpensive 2000 PSI pressure washer. At least 2000 or more if you're looking to add a foam cannon and a pressure washer to your wash process. 2000 PSI, 1800 at the very least will get it done. Let it hang on there as long as you can before it starts to dry. Even if there are some small areas where it does dry, it will rinse free once you get it wet and reactivate the shampoo. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to rinse it from top to bottom, removing as much of that grit as we have lifted as possible. The foam rinses off quickly and easily from the car and I can already see the bug guts are gone, the dust and heavy grit on the bottom of the car near the skirts gone and we're ready to make contact finally.
Time for that contact wash. So two to four ounces in your bucket, uh, depending on if you have a three gallon bucket or a five gallon bucket. We're going to drop shampoo in there. It doesn't drop in uh, in thick ribbons. It's already dissipating into the water as soon as you drop an ounce or two in there. Then you can add your wash mitts, multiple mitts for me, as I explain in all my videos. Uh, as many of those high quality plush microfiber mitts some some of you guys like the wool mitts that's perfectly fine i don't favor them uh, but i'm going to have one mitt for just about every section of the car one for the top one for the driver one for the passenger side one for the front and one for the back the wheel bucket of course is also separate you're never introducing grit or dirt back into that wash bucket cutting down on love marks by a huge percentage I'll throw that wash mitt to the side, grab a fresh wash mitt soaking in the wash solution. There is plenty of lubrication in this shampoo as I work from the rear of the car up over the roof, down the windshield to the front of the car. There is plenty of lubrication for the wash mitt to glide over the panels. Very important. All right, I'm around the car very quickly. Time to rinse thoroughly. Yeah, guys, I'm very happy with the Jess Car Auto Wash. Uh, easy to use, does everything it advertises, but nothing it doesn't have to, if that makes any sense, and leaves my car and my customers' cars squeaky clean. That will bring us to the final thoughts segment of the video. Yeah, just to cut to the chase, this is a car wash, the Jess Car Auto Wash here that you can add to the list that is on par with CarPro Reset. Yeah, they do have some scent and unnecessary dyes in there, but no big deal. Uh, it's effective, again, being uh, pH neutral and having the balance of being able to clean protected and unprotected cars, yet not being overbearing and breaking down the protection that you may already have on your car, whether it be a wax, a coating, or a sealant. The price is right also. You get a little bit more for a little less uh, than CarPro Reset when it comes to this car shampoo. So, rating on the channel. I'm very happy with it, and I can add it to the list of shampoos I will be reaching for on a daily basis. Very impressive. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.